Getting a little late to be in the garden, don't you think? You know what? I'm kind of getting tired of New York. Why is that? Because it's been cold all spring, and next week, like in a couple days, it's going to be 80s. And I have been waiting for these stinking ranunculus to like do something. They're still little and they go dormant above 75, I've read. So all this hard work and catering to these things. And then the weather is going to go from 50s to 80s because New York is just ridiculous. Well, they're called runt nuculars. Aren't they supposed to be um, like runts? It's not a time for jokes. This is serious business. I love New York. Really? I'm just start starting singing. to get, you know what? I'm just starting to like, why do I do this to myself? There, there's a reason people don't try these in New York. And it's it's because of seasons like this where it's actually perfect for ranunculus. It's cold and I now think I have to like shade them from 80 to, I don't know. Plants hey. are the least of your worries to dislike New York. Well. Yeah. Thank you. New York is the most expensive state in the, well, besides California. It's freaking expensive. It's hard to believe we can afford all these nice things like that new hose top. Where'd you get that nozzle right there? At the garden show. Oh yeah, you went to a garden show today with your girlfriend Kathleen. I didn't go to a garden show. Today. Where'd you go? I went to a nursery. It's Mother's Day. I treated myself to something I can't afford. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, thanks. Happy Mother's Day. Your flowers are going to die this week. So I'm just giving them a big dose of fertilizer because I'm hoping maybe... You know what? These should be really mulched in too. It's kind of dry. See how the water's running off? It's like pooling. Uh, it's not because it's saturated. It's because it's like almost hydrophobic. It's like the honey wagon backed up and... Let a load off. What is, what is that stuff? You don't have to be in here or bug me. Well, so. what is that? It's really? fertilizer. It's manure. It's fertilizer. What, what do you want it to smell like? Well, Roses? Can't they make a... If it's organic, it shouldn't have an odor. That's how I look at it. Yeah? Is your crap organic? Because that shouldn't have an odor then. I wouldn't call it organic. <laughs> exactly. I really can't say what it is. We don't need to be flagged. It's not fertilizer. Let's put it that way. No. Can I help you? Uh, just wondering what was going on. That's all. Not a whole hell of a lot is going on. And it was kind of nice that you weren't here today. I didn't have to really do much. So now you're going to annoy me when I'm back? Thank you. Just trying to keep people updated on what you got going on over here. Maybe I don't want to update people. Well, too bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's oh. tough. You had a real hard day spending money at a nursery, and now you're going to take it out on the rest of us. I'm stressing out. I spend money when I stress. What are you stressed out for? Because I really wanted, you know, I have ranunculus in client gardens for the first time, and I'd like them to get their money's worth out of the flowers. They're well, not cheap. Especially when, to get your money's worth, you already gave your money's worth at the nursery. What are you yapping about? Yeah. Don't spend your money before it's made. Oh, well, I know you're going to make it this week, so. So what did you purchase today at the nursery? What did you plant quickly before I came home? Three David Austin roses and a creeping dogwood cover, ground cover. Never even heard of that before. So it looks like a dogwood. Dogwood leaves, dogwood flowers, dogwood berries. Only it's a ground cover. So that was pretty exciting. And where are you finding and red lupins. the room for all these things? Well, I'm yanking stuff and stuff died back. So if it, di if it didn't do well and it's not doing well or it's just not coming back, then it's out. What am I going to do? I'm 
not going to leave a dead plant in its spot, so I'm replacing it. I think I have to start going with you. Yes, I could use help carrying stuff to the car. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be <laughs> carrying anything. Really, you got to stop impulse buying all the time. It helps. It's therapy. It's retail therapy, only I'm not buying dresses and shoes. Yeah, but how enjoyable is it when you come home and you're like sprinting around with a shovel trying to dig holes so I don't find out about it? Yes, that, that I know. The only reason I do anything fast is so I don't have to explain myself. But You I act you like I by, wouldn't you notice. By, you know me by now. Come on. I bet you I could go find all the new stuff you probably bought today. I, I, didn't, I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff. I bought David Austin roses. So you bought because a little expensive stuff i'm sorry what's the question you said you didn't buy a lot of stuff you bought a little expensive stuff I'm that too, david I'm austin too, I'm too guy to analyze anything how Hearing much money has those... that david austin guy extorted from our family you know his stuff better start producing or i'm not buying anymore yeah i'm not i impressed. went through a phase already with mr david austin and i didn't fare well and now I've, I'm on this kick again for some reason, and I don't know why, but... I thought we cut the cord earlier with David Austin when you were pruning this bush over here. David Austin's like a weed. You can dig it up and take it out, but if you leave a tiny little glimmer of hope in the soil, it comes back. Yeah, especially when it comes back in three pots today. I know, what is wrong with me? Exactly, what is wrong with you? How many more rose bushes do we need? Please don't ask me that. Do you know how many varieties there are? I thought we were starting Actually, to... do you know what? Can you go get a wheelbarrow full of mulch? Because these really need to be mulched. It's going to be 80 this week. And the soil's already a little dry. Can you go get a... a just really quick. My eye tricep turned into a Y tricep. Y try? Yeah, why bother, basically. All right, well, go get... Uh-oh, oh, no. your stuff just tipped over. Oh, man, I could have taken something out. Um, I'll get some mulch if you give a quick tour of these tulips. It looks like they're going to die, so you might as well uh, show them before... Go ahead. Take a tour. You know your way around. You live here. Well... I got stuff to do. It's 6, 6.30. It's going to get dark. Make it quick. You don't have to yap all the time about it. Why it's tulips. You... Oh, my God. This is why nothing gets done. Well, you said the tulips were going to be done. There's tulips. There's tulips. Tulips. Daffodils. Tulips oh, come there. on. Tulips there. <laughs> come on. Let's let's just look at some of them tulips. Go they ahead. look great. What, what do you want me to say about them? They're... Well, they're beautiful. Good. Enjoy them. Um, What's the life expectancy of these tulips? Because they haven't been here for long, and you told me you were about to dig them up and put some new bushes over here. I did. I actually put... These are the three that I bought. One, two, three. Because remember the, ro the rose garden that I put in, these are all the same variety and they're all the same height and they all, you know, these are, did not come back very well. And they were all really wimpy. And I moved to mid season last year, if you remember. So I'm leaving that one in there and I'm leaving Eustachia Vi in there. So. It looks like they're half the size of what they used to be. What happened to them? Well, it's early yet, but they also didn't really establish well cause I moved to mid season. So we're gonna have to see. I, ha I instead I have three new ones that should do well. They're in the ground. The soil's amended. So I like this corner. Oh, and the grasses. Remember I put grasses in in between the rose bushes. Two of the three grasses died they, over the winter. Didn't come back. Only one survived. And the odd thing is, Kathleen, my friend, she had bought three of the same grasses, and two of hers survived, and one didn't. So I just gave her my one that did survive today so she can have her three back and I'm not replacing mine. So I replaced them with this. Sounds economical. Actually, it was a terrible financial decision. <laughs> yeah. You want to tell me on film no, so there's witnesses? What? You want to tell me on film how much you spent? No. No, I do not. Would you like to see what I bought though? What are these? This is the dogwood perennial. It's a creeping dogwood. And it literally gets 
it's a short little ground cover, but it looks and acts just like a dogwood, only it's not a tree, it's a ground cover. Don't we have enough creepy dog things around here? We, we need creepy dogwoods. Actually, they say the bun bunch berries, you know, at the, in the end, bunch berries in the fall when it produces the berries. Um, grows six to 12 inches high and it's hardy to zone three. Well, it's, it's also, it says versatile in shady areas, full sun, part shade, well-drained soil. So I have three of these and I think I'm gonna plug them in somewhere and let them do their thing. Will it survive the creeping dog leg? No, no it will not. Looks about that height. Uh, so anyway, so that's that. And I found a dark geranium, which what says, it, says like? it stays compact, but I like the foliage and it has a purple flower. So there you have it. And you know what? It's highway robbery at the nurseries this year. And I'm pretty sure it's like that everywhere because man, you get like a third of what you used to get for the same price. And why is that? What do you mean, why is that? Why do you think Everybody that- Everybody is jacking prices these days. Inflation, shipping prices, you know, deliveries when the trucks bring all your perennials. You know how it works. Materials are up, everything. I heard fertilizer like doubled. Fertilizer is actually like commercially, it's really hard to get. It's kind of scary. All the like, commercial crops, farmers are having a rough time. So. Yeah, you don't seem to have a problem bringing it in here. Well, I'm using what I have, but it, not for home gardeners, but on a larger scale, it's really. So. Um... Oh, and the lupin. This one, look at this. This is a bright red flowering lupin. Usually you see like pastel colors. I mean, the flower's not out yet, but. Did you get that lupin today? Yeah. Wow, it, look at how well you you hit it. It almost looks like it's been there. <laughs> You're good. You really are. I'm not trying to hide it. I know how to plant. Wow, I would have never seen that. To well, be quite honest, I probably wouldn't have never noticed any of it, but. You don't even know what was here last year and what it wasn't, so. Uh, none honest. of this was here last year. No. None of it. No. It was empty. I could actually drive my mower around that corner. Now I can't right, even make it. I got stuff it. to do. So, yeah, what, so do you, what do you want? Tulips and flowers, early spring flowers. Oh. People are all excited. So it's like, did, yay. Listen, I did do, I did cut back the foliage. Lily See, Lane's looking a little light. Kathy Ryan, I think, said, cut the foliage back, clean it up, make it neat. And it actually does look better. I noticed you left it there for me to clean up. Yeah, I noticed you haven't jumped right in to help out. I've been busy. It's Mother's Day weekend. I know. I mean, but yes, red tulips are beautiful. The Scott. Oh look. The the mama. She's on she's on the nest right now. She's peeking out the box. She had some ugly babies or Oh, the other they're gonna day. keep they, I know. Why are birds born without feathers? It's kinda it's cold. Why do their eyes look like big ugh, bulging Ugly did, eyes. Did you see what your pug looked like as a puppy? Yeah, but he's... Talk about birds. He's That's cute, all. though. He doesn't look like a deformed egg embryo. Anyway. Weeds. I don't know that much I about chickens. This. We only composted this. But yes, yeah, beautiful. Red tulips. So yeah. what's what do you do with these tulips after they're done? Do you dig them up and save Not the these. bulbs? These are Darwin's. These these could actually die back, but the problem is I don't know if I can stomach the foliage for the next two months. Because it would be pretty pretty lame right there after they're done blooming. It's just well then the allium buds are coming. There's always something going on. That's the whole point of gardening. It's to create a succession of color. So the daffodils are done, tulips are out, and now the allium are gonna come out. So the and tulips the will stay like they are now, except with no bulbs, right? With no flowers. Yeah, with no flowers. Yeah, so I'll deadhead them. I'll cut the flower stalks off. And then the foliage will absorb the energy, feed the bulbs so it blooms next year. If you take, if you cut the foliage at the ground level right now, you will not get blooms next year because it didn't have time to store the energy to make the bloom. And you're not supposed to dig them up and try to save them. If you're going to cut year. the foliage to the ground, you might as well pull the whole bulb up because you're going to get the same result. Uh, so what were you storing in bulb wise? You don't store any type of tulips? No. 
They stay in the ground. Is that because of the zone we're in? Or is that just... Is what because of the zone? That you don't store any type of tulips. Do you know what you're talking about? If I did, would tulips? I ask the question? <laughs> tulips? I don't know what you're asking. Are there, to are there a certain type of tulip that you have to dig up before no. winter? No. But some tulips aren't... They don't produce a bloom the following year. They're good for one year. So you can leave the bulb in the ground and the next year is gonna come up with foliage, but the chances of it reblooming are slim to none. The Darwin hybrids, if you, prop, if you deadhead them and then leave the foliage until they naturally die back, they're gonna naturalize. They're gonna come up with more bulbs and more blooms the next year. They're, the other varieties, like the real pretty varieties, multicolored, stripes, two-tone, all of those varieties, they don't come back and bloom again. So you have to like dig the bulb up and you don't store them because they're not gonna, you're not gonna do anything with them. So when you go to like one of these tulip festivals, do they have to like plant all them bulbs the year before? Yes, they do. They, they plant them in the fall. Do they dig up the old ones or they, they just... What they do is at the end of the festival, they have people come in to, to do that and you can take them home. That's a lot of work. If they're Darwin's, you'll get perennialized tulips. If they're not that, if they're not a Darwin hybrid, then well, good. I'm glad we don't have to do that around here because no. I wouldn't want to you be doing what, that. What's really weird? We had one random tulip last year, and we have one random tulip again in the sun garden. I have no idea how it got there. You see it? There's well, actually there's another one over there by the night bark. So weird. And what kind of, are they Darwin's? They must be. They come, it, it, all of a sudden they like appeared and they're blooming and they did it last year. So yeah, but there's only one in each spot. <laughs> and then you have these things that look like you threw an egg in the microwave for a little too long. They're and the yolk's on you. You have to, you have to come on this side and film because their, their heads are a little bit down. Uh, that's beautiful. Watch out. Well, that's why I didn't want to come film it from no, over No, that's here. why I love when you like back up like you're getting all fancy and then you crush things. I just got a branch up my backside. <laughs> and you knocked off the freaking leaf bud. Well, right? and you're worried about the leaf bud, but not the butt. That's correct. Yeah, well. And that's beautiful, right? Oh, that does look beautiful. Yes, that's why I wanted to do this video, by the way. I know, when we were mulching and you caught me with the, with the ice cream break, I don't think these were in bloom yet. And now they're blooming. They're pretty. So, from... And these are perfect for, like, cutting. Look how long the stems are. That's kind of what you want. For if you ever, if you want to cut them. But I can't cut them. They look so pretty out here. I'm going to have a problem cutting flowers. You know, I, I don't know. I hope with, like, the 14,000 dahlia varieties I have, and who knows where they're going to be, maybe I'll put them, like, down in a gravel pit and grill them so that I have to cut them to enjoy them. Well, it kind of seems to me like you have a lot of tulips this year. Yeah. A lot more than usual. Oh, yeah, I planted them. Yeah, but well, that means you're going to have a lot more of this weird foliage without flowers in the summer. Well, they die back. So eventually, once they brown and die back, you clean them up. And the bulbs stay in the ground, but the rest of the flowers will be out. So by, like, July, those tulips are done. You don't see those dumb leaves Correct. hanging out. Correct. Well, that's what I was trying to tell you, ask you in the beginning. Yeah, well, you did it in a really awful way. Well, I don't know garden slang. That's it, though. I mean, there's yellow tulips in the shade garden. Well, let's hurry up, you know. I told you. Yeah, let's hurry I up. I wanted to make this quick. And what is up with these? Is this the graveyard? No, this is. these are seedlings that I grew that I'm still waiting for my husband to build me raised, raised beds for. I thought I got out of that. No. I have, look over there. I have a crap ton of seedlings. Oh my goodness. What am I supposed to do with all that? <laughs> really? It's a mess, I know. And look it, there's some right here too in, in red solo cups. When does it end? See, listen, I'm plugging them in. Look, right behind that, those are all seedlings. So when you were planting those, did you stop to think, wow, I don't really have a place to put these? Yes. Look, and there's tulips here. You thought, oh, my husband's going to build me boxes. Well, you said you would. That's why I thought you would, yes. 
I don't remember saying These are kind of like orangey red tulips. They're just about to start. They, they've gotten a little trampled. They're not like the most pretty foliage, but they're going to bloom. Is there a tulip that will bloom during the summer or is it no. early spring and that's it? Spring and that's it, unless you force them and keep them cold and then bring them out. Um, but nobody does that. They like cool weather. Come on, Toby. What's up, Jackster? <laughs> Puppy power. And then those, look at those. Those are like a midnight. Oh, wow. Where'd you get those from? Same place I got the other ones from. And these... These it, didn't do so well. They got really trampled. They look like more by, like by, 11 uh, o'clock instead of midnight. They, uh, oh, very clever. Well. They got trampled by Kong. Where is Kong? Where is your mutt? I don't know. But look at, this is what happens when you plant Darwin's. These have been here. They actually need to be divided, but this clump has come back reliably for years. And they're super pretty. And I have the same ones here. And then actually those did get divided and there's a clump back there. So there's like... So in a couple of years, if you kind of leave this oh, look, alone... Oh, there's tulips here. So that's fun. So what are those? Do you even know? Um, so those I got in a um, one of those little plants. Someone gave me tulips as a gift in a planter. Was it you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was. It was expensive. I think so. <laughs> I think I somebody remember. somebody gave me like, you know how you can buy a pot of tulips in the spring just to bring home. And so that's literally, it's even in the same shape. So I stuck it in the ground there and they actually came back. And I actually look, I don't know where that came from. That's pink. Who knows? Oh yeah, that was, that was a special order I got you that one day. Yeah. Amazon's awesome. Wow, it's looking good. It definitely color still pops. Mulch job still looks good a week later. You're looking very good in that flannel shirt. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to smell the sleeves? I put rose tone on. No. It's my new, it's my new uh, perfume. I think you do that on purpose. You spill it on you. It doesn't so keep you... you off me. Yes, it does. It. Yes, it does. Does it? Well, I have allergies, so I can't smell much no, anyway. No, 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 Jack. Oh, oh boy, we got a battle no. royal. Stay away from me. It's dinner time, right, Jackster? Yeah. Oh, God! He's going to bite my leg off. Is that it? We're out of here? You're going back to work? I'm out. Uh-oh. They saw the lawn. We're, we called somebody. It's going to get fixed. Right? Maybe not. <laughs> if it doesn't get fixed, we're going to get fixed. Well. Oh, here it is! Oh, there's Kong. Yes, Kong is here. Baby Kong! Burr. Beautiful. All right, honey, back to work. Watch out, Jax is gonna attack. Oh my goodness. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. They're like Otis and Ziggy. Yeah, they go, and then they stop. They all gotta fight for your attention. She's licking my gloves because they taste like fertilizer. Wonderful. You never used to jump, stop that. Well, there you have it, folks. Oh, God, here she goes. Hey, I'd rather have her chewing on a plastic bottle than jumping like a Bronco in my garden. Yeah, but I have to pick everything up. Like, she messed up my fire pit. I had stuff out there to burn, and now it's all in the woods. So today, she took my lemonade bottle. She took the top off it, and she was licking the lemonade, and she was making this What do you think? You want to give me that lemonade? Yeah. You want to give it to me? Oh my God! Hey, hey, now that dog. No, we think I don't want. I don't it. like big dogs. Oh, stop it! I don't. They don't like you. Well, tough crap. She's starting to put brown spots in the lawn. I have to. I have to bring her. Teach her to pee in the woods. It I looks like we you lazy. got. It looks like you got little poop patches in the lawn. All these little green spots. It's weird. We have the most gorgeous gardens in the world, but look at the yard. <laughs> oh, you better call the lawn doctor. It needs to be this mowed. This thing's in critical condition. It needs to be mowed, but it's no mow may. Yeah. It is. That's what it's called. No mow may. You keep all the 
you keep everything growing so that the dandelions can bloom for the bees and then you get stuck with all dandelions as a lawn. Well, you told me not to mow it. Exactly. No mow may. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, well. All right, honey, I didn't mean to disturb you. Yeah, you did. Back to work. Yeah, now I have to figure out what I'm doing. You're the best. Okay.